What's going on there guys? Good afternoon, good early evening to those out there. It's the Earthmaster here on the live stream with a quick update video on some earthquake activity ramping up around the Mariana Islands once again. Still getting a pretty good swarm of movement here. Noticing there on the Earthquake 3D globe and also on the signatures, the live seismograph stations are showing quite a bit of a large earthquake data, earthquake activity kicking up here around the Mariana Islands. It looks like a 6.2 earthquake is in the mix there. Let me see if I can bring this down. 6.2 just striking a short time ago in this swarming area that I've kind of discussed a little bit about this morning in my update video. Starting to see uh, some larger magnitudes here. In this area can see some upper seven magnitude earthquakes. It is in an area that hasn't seen too much activity uh, in terms of large movement historically kind of in that quiet area. So looking at the map here of the EMSC model shows, uh, looks like these guys are reporting a 5.7, uh, 5.9, 6.2. So there was a couple large earthquakes here occurring just within the past 20 minutes or so around the Mariana Islands. Um, let's see what the USGS is reporting here for this region. Uh, of course, they've had quite a bit of earthquake activity, fours and fives kicking up throughout the morning time. Uh, they have a 5.8 listed here at 2336 UTC time. And uh, 2336 UTC time is going to be uh, uh, the signature that we've seen on the live seismographs. Although I think it's a little bit bigger than a 5.8. These guys, uh, sometimes the USGS will downgrade and then they'll look over data and then they'll upgrade it. But the EMSC is reporting a 6.2 and a 5.9. So two earthquakes here uh, kicking up in a sequence. But this is all part of a big sequence that's uh, taking place here today in the Mariana Islands trench area. Of course, we did see uh, some deep movement prior to all this earthquake activity. And this is kind of what I tell everyone that the deeper movements, the down dip earthquake activity tends to lead to potentially large scale movement upstream, up where the locked areas are. So we've seen that 4.5 earlier, uh, actually late last night, earlier this morning at 227 kilometers. Since then, that's when this humongous swarm of activity kicked up here. So things are really rocking and rolling around the Mariana Islands. Again, this area can see upper seven magnitude earthquakes and it is in the area. There's a little quiet zone. I pulled up the earthquake catalog this morning on the update video and kind of pointed out this little quiet area within this zone where the swarm is occurring that has not seen uh, anything above 6.5 all area south of here and a little bit to the north here obviously seen some sevens and some sixes but this area is prone and prime I think to ready uh, pretty much ready to rock and roll with potentially a seven magnitude earthquake or greater uh, so we got to watch this pretty closely, folks. We're looking at a, a gradual uptrend of magnitudes here. Not a downtrend, but uh, an uptrend, so to speak. So uh, we are watching it pretty closely. Again, a 6.2 and a uh, um, 5.8 in the area of the Mariana Islands. It looks like these guys, uh, see what they got here. Hold on a second. Let me zoom in just a little bit closer and see what these guys are doing. Still a 6.2. And if 5.9 listed on this map, we'll see if they uh, we'll see if they revive uh, revise these or not. Uh, but still, relatively shallow earthquake activity occurring following that deep movement quake this morning down there, about 221 kilometers. So things are uh, getting uh, pretty crazy, folks. Uh, looking at the rest of the map here, Hawaii lighting up all over the area, basically westward. Uh, a lot of pressure coming from the east. I think I've made the mistake saying the pressure coming from the west. Well, the pressure is heading to the west, coming from the east. That's the general plate movement here of the Pacific Plate, west-northwest direction from this area. Uh, and it's putting a crunch here on the Philippine Plate, the eastern section of the Philippine Plate into the trenches. And we're also seeing some activity ramping up around this area, uh, just kind of verifying the uh, pressure increases in this region. Alaska has seen some activity up here as well. Again, west northwestward direction of the Pacific Plate. And of course, uh, these areas right here, very high slip rate for earthquake activity. 
Uh, let's see, go ahead. I'm gonna cover the space weather activity real quick. I'm not gonna do a full complete update. Uh, we're gonna do that a little bit later on, but we had a super long duration M flare kickoff earlier, an M2.5, and it's still kind of showing up here on the solar uh, X-ray map. Look at that, that thing was just a long duration. It's like, hello, I'm sticking around for a little while. Look at that, the three day, let's go back to the one day. It's still kind of popping off here a little bit. See, it's just a super long duration uh, M flare, M2.5. There's still a uh, radio blackout going on with the low frequency and the high frequency ranges up there. Uh, looks like a low frequency between 30 and, and 300 KHZ and the uh, high frequency between 3 and uh, 30 MHZ. Things looking uh, like they're, uh, they're getting pretty active. And this is all from our, our sunspots, the one we've been watching pretty closely here named, let's see here. Look at that, that's that's it. It's still kind of flaring up. Beautiful feature, you guys see that? Let me see if I can zoom into that a little bit more. That is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Beautiful arc of plasma between the magnetic fields there. Looking spectacular. That thing could blast off uh, some more M flares really soon with that type of activity. Um, and this is all coming from around the 3053 sunspot. Beautiful sunspot. I, I'm looking at you, buddy. You got to bring us some good flares coming up. And it looks like it's uh, about ready to put on a nice show. I'm waiting for it. Uh, this is going to be rotating into Earth view here. Uh, well, obviously into Earth view, but more directed at the Earth. And um, I tell you what, anything that does pop off will definitely be geo-effective and uh, could pop off some uh, storms here in the coming uh, coming nights, if we get a nice CME in our direction. Uh, right now, KP index here is around three. Things not uh, too active right now. We did get pretty active last night in the uh, Aurora department, seeing some higher steer, uh, higher latitude states picking up the Auroras. Of course, up into Canada and whatnot, they had a pretty nice view. Uh, here's a little info from the solarhand.net site. A long duration solar flare currently measuring above the moderate 2.0 level is in progress around AR 3053. My buddy, yeah, in the northeast quadrant, more to follow. Uh, but look at that, that is spectacular. And, and the latest, the latest image shows, uh, uh it kind of looks like it's still doing its thing. It's very active here. So watch this sunspot closely as we head uh, from here on out over the next couple days. We are seeing elevated earthquake activity, um, obviously in the Mariana Trench. A couple things to watch, folks. These guys, USGS downgraded the 6.2 to a 5.8. So we got two 5.8s here around the Mariana uh, Islands area. Just uh, be on guard out there. I think they're looking at something much, much larger coming up here real soon. Uh, a little earthquake up in the... Uh, uh, BC area right now showing up on the seismograph. We are going to be getting some S waves, some surface waves coming in. I can see those right now on the seismograph. Those will be traveling around the globe uh, here uh, like they are right now. Uh, it's getting active. I'll be back a little bit later on to discuss everything, take a look at things, and uh, we'll do an update here probably around 8 o'clock my time. It's kind of odd. My fan just fell over out of the blue. It was really weird. And uh, we'll go from there, folks. So be on guard. Stay alert. We'll chat you guys here in a couple hours, about 8 o'clock my time here in about three hours. Peace out, everyone.